doesn't seem that long ago that I lived on this bench on this street called Grange Road in Middlesbrough and do you know such a grey day such a, a miserable day every day living on this bench and on this street every day seemed the same now to have such a fantastic ministry to reach out to people who were like me with no hope is just fantastic Currently driving to Kirk Levinson Grange, um, which is a resettlement prison, um, and sowing seeds was being here since its birth, really. Uh, Graham, Bond, and Brian Foscott actually run the groups in here now for sowing seeds. I go into Kirk Levington once a week with Graham Bond. Uh, we take the love of Jesus there. We bring the men hope and a future, I hope. We believe that uh, by bringing them love and compassion and caring for them that when they find Jesus themselves there is a hope for them when they go out and obviously we would like to see them out and not coming back again and uh, to that end we will meet them when they come out we'll try and support them and do whatever we can for them sometimes I don't feel like I deserve forgiveness sometimes I don't feel like I deserve Cross. Sometimes I don't feel as though I'm living up to your expectations. And then I remember I do not deserve the cross. And then I remember I am never worth the cost you paid. It's only grace, only love. It's not that I am. I'm Norman Griffin, I'm the Governing Governor here at North Halton Young Offenders Institution where we hold 250 young offenders aged between 18 and 21, many of whom have come from underprivileged backgrounds, uh, not had the, the best start in life and have followed that up with one decision after another bad decision, another bad decision, uh, ending up here in custody. During my three and a half years here as Governor, we've been linking in with the with Grand Seed and the Sowing Seeds Ministry in order that Graham can share, and he has shared his experience uh, with the young offenders, provided some inspiration and more importantly uh, evidence that there is a way back, there is hope and, and, and as such many of the young offenders have actually followed his example of channeled their energies into productive and constructive uh, resettlement and have been successful in their reintegration into the, in the community. In ten years I've never known God be so powerfully at work amongst the prison community as a whole and uh, Part of that is due to the Sowing Seeds Ministries and for the presence particularly of Graham Seed and Ian Williamson now attending the Alpha Groups. Uh, I wish you could see such um, excitement amongst the young offenders as I meet them on the wing and take them along to the chapel for the Alpha Group. And the question is always, is Ian here? Is Graham here? Because they so want to hear the um, reality and truth that Jesus Christ brings to people's lives. Well, here we are to watch direct at Teesside Park. We're going to buy 50 sweatshirts for Asok Field Secure Training Centre, where these 50 children that were in, have no families, we're going to get them a nice present because we believe this is love in action. Hazard feels a unique place in many ways. We look after some very challenging and in some instances damaged young people. Graham and I are in discussions with the Archdeacon to get Graham recognised uh, as he should be recognised as the, as the pastor, as a spiritual light for Hassock Field, which is something that I've wanted actually ever since I met the man. And because that's what he does, he brings a real humanity and a real life to Hassock Field. And I quite often say about Graham that he's really the heartbeat of what we do. You know, he brings a real honesty and a real light to Hassock Field. And 
I've seen so many times him turn that light on in difficult young people that we can't reach and he can. And the work that he does, I couldn't buy, I just couldn't buy it. And I'm blessed to have him here. I was involved in an accident a few years ago and I knew I was going to prison for the accident uh, leading up to me going to prison. I was drinking up to nine litres of cider a day and some weeks I was spending £800 a week on cocaine. Um, I'd give up on life and I'd, I'd give up all hope really. Um, once I was in prison, um, a man called Graham he used to come and see me and he went to the same church as my uncle. He both come up to visit me and he just said I've set up a charity sowing seeds and he wants to help prison people coming out but once I got out of prison there was no one for me to talk about about pressure from people offering me drugs and stuff it was just my friends and they were all taking drugs um, so one day I met Graham and he said to me look if I've set the charity up just come and get involved so I've been getting involved with Graham and the charity and I've been with him for about two years now. My crime, what I did, it wasn't, it wasn't all me and I stood back as, this, as it happened and I was in the wrong place at the wrong time and something got carried out and a dead body ended up in the end of it and I've been I've been coming here on her and I'm going to have to do some time for it because I was there at the time. I've been getting into uh, God a lot since Graham's been calling my solicitor and he's religious and I've been like trying to pray but and I've got, there's a the lad on the block as well who's been praying for me. What happens happens and happens for a reason and that like God will always love us and all that and that he, he, he says he prays for me and he's a good, he's a good man he's Graham. That's all I can say. What we try to do here at the King's Academy is to, uh, shall we say, transform lives uh, in many ways. The Sowing Seeds Ministry really support us with our Christian ethos and uh, we found their input invaluable in terms of getting our message across, in establishing the Christian ethos and helping to challenge students as to how they are living their lives and how they are to take their place in the world today. Um, I'm really pleased that Sown Seeds exists because it helped me and it'll certainly help others. It's good to know that people are willing to make Graham and the team to help. So I just want to thank you. If you're a partner in Sown Seeds Ministries Oak already, that's just a fraction of what goes on. And if you're not a partner, and um, we hope that you will help us help them. God bless. Will you take me back again? Thank you, God bless.